Hey guys, it is December 3rd, Saturday, and I seriously can't believe it's already December. It being December, my grandmother always gives me an advent calendar. I don't know if you guys have one, but you should get one because it's really cool, and you get chocolate every single day. What could be better than that? So, I got this, and today, December 3rd, was... I can't even... See, like, you can't even tell... It kind of looks like the TARDIS. Alright, let's just say it is, because that's kind of cool. And whatever it actually is. I think it's a lamp. Like one of those lanterns you hold when you walk through the streets in the olden days. But let's just say it's a TARDIS. <laughs> Another thing I love about December is the 25 days of Christmas on ABC Family. Yeah, that's pretty much what I live for in December. But I don't have a TV, so I can't watch them. And But everyone in my floor watches them so I can just like I sneak in the room I'm just like but right now tonight is Harry Potter which I don't understand how that's a Christmas movie just because they have a Christmas scene and it snows oh well I love the classics that's what I live for so yay that's what I'm gonna do when I get back which will be sometime next week on the 16th I'll be watching that every single day so besides that uh, I realize right now that we're all missing thespians, and it upsets me. It kind of hurts a bit right here, because thespians was so fun, and yeah, I'm sure they're having a blast. I don't know if they're doing any acts or anything, but we'll, we'll find out when we get back. Anywho, uh, Katie, when you were talking about the flash of interest, as soon as I saw the title, I thought of, like, oh my god, middle school, like, uh, like, I had a flash of interest of this guy, and I'm just like, god, we're such dorks, but no, like, I can totally understand, um, your flash of interest becoming a crush type thing, like, honestly, it's kind of like another, it's basically like another word for a crush, but I mean, like, I think it's the reason why we call it a flash of interest because if we said it's a crush, we assume that we're we're thinking too highly of something. I kind I kind of thought like, oh, it's like not that much I like him, but it actually is. So I'm just gonna say it's a flash of interest. I don't know. Okay, I don't even. <laughs> I'm talking like a minute about this. Um, and yes, Chelsea, I loved all your turkeys. They were really funny, and um, I really like the. Uh, nerdy one and yeah tumblr literally i go on if i want to find a creative idea or just anything i go to google i actually use google i go to google and i type in the subject say i i want to learn about cats i put cats and then tumblr in the google search bar and literally the top tumblers will come up with cats and yeah they're usually always the best and i love it so that's how i do that um and then i also realized that i wear a lot of sweaters like I got this during Black Friday, and I love it, and I love Christmas ugly sweaters. It's awesome. <laughs> and Meg, um, I'm just gonna visit you in England during June, because I know you're there till July, and my friend Benny obviously lives in England, and when I told him that you go to the Guilford School of Acting, he kind of flipped out and was like, oh my god, that's like really close to me, and... He, since the drinking age is 18, he, like, he goes to the pubs before, like, before he came to college, and he was just like, yeah, it's really cool, and he goes out, like, all this stuff. He's like, yeah, I'll show you around to all the pubs, and he doesn't sound like that. He sounds like, I'll, I'll show you around all to the pubs. Oh, my God. That was the worst British accent I have ever did. And I'm talking really fast. I think it's because I don't want this video to be really, really long. Anywho, so, um, yeah, we're, we're all going to visit you, Meg, um... We're just gonna hop on a plane, go to England, maybe stop at Alderaan, you know. It just happens. <laughs> oh, Katie, I love that joke. It was so funny. Like, I saw it coming, too, the Star Wars Alderaan. I was like, ah, <laughs> Ooh, it's funny, it's funny. <laughs> it got blown up. <laughs> Anywho, so, uh, challenge, reoccurring dream. Okay, I know I have this one reoccurring dream, but I just can't remember it at all. Um... I just know that in the very current dream, or the ones I always ha reoccur, are the setting is always my old house and Gregory Drive next to Simmons. It always is. And, like, whether it's 
like I'm inside the house or like pieces of the house are in the dream and then like I go outside and it transform to a different setting like it's really weird or like I'm actually in my yard and then it slowly becomes a different setting like it's just always it's always based around my old house because well I had I lived there for like 13 14 years of my life so it's like it's like all I really remember <laughs> anywho so yeah that Pretty much is my recording dream. Kind of boring, I know. <laughs> Not like the Scooby-Doo one. <laughs> um, but recently, I just had the weirdest dream um, a couple days ago. And Chelsea, you were in it. And Katie, everyone was in it. I was in Lee Course Walk, and I was walking to Saxby's. And, like, there was this creeper who, like, was obsessed with me. And, like, this the... The whole dream ended with me battling him on Leah Corus walk with knife point. It was scary. Oh my god. Like, and apparently, Chelsea, he killed you. Like, he was stalking me. He somehow got into my laptop and my history wasn't cleared. And, like, he saw in my history, you were the first thing that came up. It was your Tumblr. And then, strangely enough, it was, like, Nick Hoffman's, um, no, it was Chelsea. It was your Facebook page and then Nick Hoffman's Tumblr. It was really weird. I was like, what is going on? And so the, he killed both of you guys. And then, like, he chased after my mom. Like, oh, my God. It was so scary. Like, it was terrifying. I never had such, like, oh, It's like, like, now I'm, like, looking around. Like, there's, like, a stalker of mine. Like, oh. But anyway, um, it turned out well. Like, we, like, in the dream... I didn't die. I defeated him because I'm badass like that. Now I'm going to talk about the actual present and current events that are happening in my life or just happened this past week that I learned about and or experienced. So I went to a jazz concert, the Temple Jazz, and it's pretty funny because here here's a little brochure. Um, it's funny because they're the jazz band number three. So they're, they're I think they're all pretty much freshmen, but they're actually, like, really, really, really good. So it's, like, the only reason they're number three, they're in the number three is because they're all freshmen. And they had a vocalist, too, who was really amazing, Mary Callahan. Anywho, uh, my, uh, Eric was in it. He's a tenor sax. Yeah, you can see it. Um, and they had the special celebrity guest or person who actually, like, helps teach here. And um, he's an amazing tenor sax. Larry McKenna. I'm not sure if you guys heard of him. I'm pretty sure you guys have because he's from Philadelphia and he's a local, like, amazing, finest jazz tenor saxophone player in the world. <laughs> well, maybe not the world, but he's he's really good because he performed with them, them on a stage and it was amazing. Oh, and also my friend Miles. Um, he is... The, he was the guitarist. He was, he was really good, too. They both, Eric and Miles, both had uh, solos, and they were really good. I liked them a lot. And, um, yeah. And, like, I love jazz, so I was just like... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, I'll tell you some of the songs they played, because you might recognize them, Katie, because you were in a jazz band. Um, uh, Fan, ta Fan Tail. I don't know why I was about to say that word. Teach Me Tonight. I'll Be Seeing You. Do Nothing Till You Hear From Me. Out of Nowhere. Mr. Lucky, Tenderly, An Afternoon in Paris, which I think you guys did before, I'm not positive. Um, and I love being here with you. And yeah, they they were really good. I enjoyed it. And Larry McKenna is phenomenal. <laughs> On a funny side note, in Larry McKenna's biography in the little brochure at the jazz concert, um, the last sentence <laughs> entertains me very well. It says Larry resides in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, with four cats, the feline variety. Because, <laughs> you know, cats like jazz. Oh, man, that just makes me automatically think of Aristocats. Such a good movie. Speaking of animals, and this is my very last thing, and I know this is going to run up to ten minutes. Um, my younger brother, Michael, as you all know, he, for Christmas... He's getting his girlfriend a puppy. And yes, he's a girlfriend. And no, it's not what you think. It's not like, oh, I'm going to be an awesome boyfriend, get the stereotypical thing of a puppy and make her fall in love with me. No. It's actually, um, her mom is on, on it, in on it too. Um, because she wants a puppy too. And like, they, their, their whole family is like, let's get a dog. So, um, pet on Pet Finder, um, Michael found, Michael and his girlfriend's um, mom 
found a puppy, Rusty, who's a half chocolate lab and half border collie and is this tiny and the cutest thing in the freaking world. Oh my god. Um, it's a girl too. Um, so Michael's girlfriend's mom is paying for the puppy while my mom, since Michael's not 18, is actually like adopting it in her name. So until Christmas, the puppy is staying at our house and it's coming to our house this Sunday, like tomorrow. So I kind of just want to go home and skip my finals and play with that puppy all night long. She ain't getting that puppy.